Charger is a modern day interpretation of a classic Dodge nameplate. Styling cues like the contouring on the doors and the wide rear shoulders, they serve as ties to the past. Let's face it, they also make the Charger stand out in a world of look-alike family sedans. But how well does an extensively updated and modernized Charger work in the present? Our Charger has Chrysler's thoroughly modern 3.6 liter V6 engine. This engine provides smooth power and decent fuel economy. You can also get a Hemi V8. Now that engine's obviously faster, but also sucks down more fuel. Most people, they're probably going to be pretty happy with the V6. What isn't so modern though is the transmission. Early chargers like this one have a five-speed automatic. It's not really mated that well with the engine. It upships as soon as possible in order to eke out the best fuel economy, but then it's slow to downshift when you want to have power. The charger will later get an eight-speed automatic, and that should really improve things. Unlike most cars nowadays, the charger is rear-wheel drive with optional all-wheel drive. Now, rear-wheel drive is usually dedicated for focused sports sedans, and well, the Charger isn't really one of those. But it still doesn't embarrass itself. The steering's responsive, it has pretty good feedback, and there isn't a whole lot of body roll. Where the Charger does excel is as a cruiser. It's really quiet inside, and the ride, well, it soaks up road imperfections really nicely. It's a great car for a highway trip. The old Charger had horrible driver visibility. Happily, it's better in this car. It's not great, but it's better. There's a lot more glass area. You don't have to crane your neck to look out to see traffic lights anymore. Chrysler's been paying a lot more attention to interior quality, and that's really evident here in the Charger. Everything's assembled pretty well. The dashboard, it's soft to the touch. There's also this turned metal look surround around the touchscreen and the gauges. That's a nod back to the classic Chargers of the past. There's not much classic about the Charger's controls. Our Charger has the optional touch screen in the dashboard. Unlike some other cars, it actually works well here. It's a really big screen. It's easy to read. The icons, they're large, they're well labeled. There's also hard keys and knobs for the most commonly used functions. The big front seats are supportive and there's plenty of room up front. You'd think that a big sedan would be really accommodating for people in the back seat. But just like its rivals, the Ford Taurus and the Buick LaCrosse, there's some concessions for styling. The big issue in the Charger is the shape of the rear doors because of this roof line. You really need to duck your head as you get in to not hit it. Once you're in though, you'll find there's actually really good room for two people in the back seat, but it's hard to fit a third person in, and that's something you'd expect to do in a large sedan. The problem here is that because it's is a rear wheel drive platform, there's a big drive shaft tunnel here. That takes up a lot of space. The Charger has a pretty wide trunk, but it gets shallow near the front of it. We can only fit three large suitcases in it. In a sedan this size, they'll typically fit four. So Dodge has done a nice job updating the Charger. It's now a pleasant car with a modern engine and a comfortable interior. However, despite the sedan's size, there's still some concessions and practicality.